We have here with us today Dr. Prem Sher, consultant neonatologist and head of department pediatrics Bombay Hospital. We will be talking about preterms today. In your experience, at what gestational age can a preterm survive without any deficit? Basically, one cannot predict, but overall looking at years and years, find that the about 28 weeks of gestation is a good line to draw for the survival. Now as far as intact survival is concerned, it depends on mother's history, it depends on the way child required resuscitation and a follow up in the units where they are looked at. What kind of special precautions are to be taken for managing these preterm babies? First of all, one has to look after right at the time of delivery. If a preterm who is resuscitated very well, the outcome is much, much better. So that is point number one. Point number two is what type of a nursery they are. They, have, they require a thermoregulation that is temperature control. Babies are prone to hypothermia, so we should see that in the unit where they are born, transported better way with a good temperature control and the unit where they are should be properly temperature controlled. This is one. Second thing is they are prone to a lot of metabolic problems and metabolic problems come out like hypoglycemia, less of sugar or hyperglycemia. So it can be hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia and one need to monitor both the time things, whether it is hypo or hyper, and decide about their fluids or the diet which we are giving. Then comes the infection. The infection, if the mother had any infection, they are prone to intrauterine infections. Two, they can be get an intranatal infection or an hospital acquired infection. Being premature, they have a low immunity. So they are prone to a lot of infections. It can be gram-negative and gram-positive. Quite often, they are more of a gram-negative infections. They tend to pick up anaerobic infections from the unit itself. So these are called hospital-acquired infection. And doing too many things in a unit also leads to an hydrogen infection. Once we have looked after the temperature, metabolic parameters like calcium, and electrolytes plus the glucose avoid the infection then we must think of nutrition the children or babies who are very low birth weight babies one has to think of nutrition and we cannot start breastfeeding so if we are not trying to start breastfeeding we need to give them parental nutrition and look after the glucose levels which should be given about five to eight seven milligrams per kilo per minute we need to give them some proteins because there is maximum protein loss from them, from skin and in the urine. So if you are looking after a newborn, a preterm baby in a unit and not giving a TPN for a few days, you will see that he is losing and losing weight and then the recovery takes a lot of time. What kind of setup is required for ensuring survival of preterms and what is the cost of such a setup? Now, feel what is preterm. Any baby which is less than 37 weeks, we call them a preterm. Now, there's a group which is well between 34 and 37 weeks. They can be put not in grade tertiary care level because these neonatal tertiaries are divided into primary care, secondary care and tertiary care. So these babies at 37 or 35, 34 to 37 weeks of preterm, they can be put in a special care unit where we can give them breastfeeding. We can look after their intravenous. Uh, we can look after their dextrostics, that is, maintaining the sugars and seeing that they do not develop jaundice, which we have talked about. So this is called special care nursery, or a VA primary care. We can have a secondary care where you have a little of intravenous fluids and you have thirty-four to thirty two weeks great where you have feeding you have intravenous fluid you have a phototherapy machine and the third comes tertiary care 
where you have everything possible like ventilators, monitors and everything. So the cost factor varies and nobody gives three types of nursery. So in per bed, if you really see the cost factor to keep the cost of one is cost, original cost, second is recurrent cost. The original cost comes per bed, leaving the square area of the place where we are, they are occupying is three to five lakhs. Let's not forget the recurring cost you require if you have a tertiary nursery. Everybody is very fond of tertiary nurseries. Tertiary nurseries along with ventilator, what one requires is nursing staff. And this is a trained nursing staff for ventilator, TPN and that cost effect is there. The monitors, the infusion pumps which turn out to be quite expensive. So that is a maintenance job cost. Have you noted any behavioral or physical deficits in your preterm patients later on in life like at school going age or even later? Basically whoever has a nursery, a tertiary nursery should have what is called an early intervention program. That is you should start interventing in the NICU itself to see that the baby has intact survival. Things like that, that you have a preterm baby which is 28-30 weeks, look out for the eyes, that you do not develop an ROP or myopia of prematurity. You look out when at one month or two on hearing losses and third, they may not develop, take a sonography to find out whether there are bleeds. You ask me the questions about the follow-up thing and when you are following it up, the children are not doing at the school well is one of the common things. It may be an isolated thing or they have an attention deficit. They run around, they have an attention deficit. Sometimes they land up even in an epilepsy. So it is shown that all is not well which looks well. Everybody says, oh my child is doing well and when he reaches his standard eighth and he finds that she's not been able to concentrate on mathematics. She is able to do A, B, C. And that may be the effect what was at the time of birth. She went through all the stress in unital ICU and that may be reset. Whereas another low birth weight babies, they may remain appetite babies or appetite small children. So these are the variations which we see long term. But there are enough problems immediately if we are not looking. We need to look out for intact survival, which is what is required for a follow-up of preterm babies. Thank you, ma'am, for your experiences. If not.